YouTube, YouTube, YouTube is Rico, man. I'm back with another video, man. Y'all see what we got going on. We got low ski trial update, arrested in Uber with gun. Eyewitness asked about 410, yeah. So you already know what time it is, man. If you're brand new to the channel, you've been watching videos on the channel, but not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Now we on the grind of 5K. Don't forget to tell your family and friends about our channel. Hopefully they become supporters of the channel as well. Now also make sure y'all are smashing that like button and commenting on the video to help the video get recommended to a larger audience of people. Hopefully you bring in new supporters as well. And also make sure you guys turn on post notifications. And I know sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. So either way throughout the day, when no matter what, whether you getting up or before you go to bed, just make sure you check our channel out every single day because you don't want to miss out on those videos because we upload every single day and it's rare that we don't upload also follow my ig at lme and that's in the description box as well down below for my social media platforms that you guys can add and follow me on with all that said man let's go ahead and get this video started starting with the screen record that started and we starting video now People, it's your boy Eve Huncho back at you again with another video. And so, as some of you may be aware, Harlem Spartans rapper Lowski is currently on trial and has roughly been on trial for the past six weeks or so. Since then, though, we've had no updates, presumably because the news covered his first trial, which collapsed. Again, for anyone who doesn't know, Lowski had in fact been on trial early last year in 2020 for the same reason he's on trial now but the prosecution fell ill in that case, and so a retrial went ahead, and here we are today. So we have been waiting for updates out of this situation, and today we can finally reveal some new developments in this case. What we'll do is that we'll go through the newest report that's came out, and then there is some information I want to share with you guys at the end. So the report reads, quote, Jarell O'Connor, stage name Lowski, was allegedly caught with a revolver by officers investigating the stabbing of a fellow. Yeah, and that's, we kind of remember that too as well from the, the very time, first time I reacted to this, and y'all probably before seeing the video by itself without my reaction, but other than that, I wonder exactly what all they gonna try to hit them with and go from there, because right now, still ain't looking too good, but we gonna see musician and gang member aka Latwan Griffiths or as you guys will know him SA. O'Connor is on trial for possessing a firearm with intent. Also too I remember too that he was trying to finesse and say pretty much he he was forced to sell drugs and stuff like that but we're gonna see if the court really fall forward for it but we we possibly probably won't see that happen just because of the simple fact we have seen other people try to use that same excuse as well when they went to go for a trial for whatever case they had going on at the time and stuff so it ain't like this is anything new so we're gonna see if the court really try to go ahead and believe him like yeah he was forced to do this and shit and so we gotta take that in consideration but we gonna see though man and maybe they not that dumb we gonna see though Another related charges in April of 2019. More specifically, those charges are possession of a prohibited firearm, possession of a person with previous convictions prohibited from possessing a firearm, and possession of ammunition. O'Connor denies the charges against him and claims he was forced to hold the gun after a drug dealer made threats against he and his mother's lives. Prosecutors say he had the 4mm calibre Florent revolver which was loaded with three bullets to either use himself or give to an associate because of a gang dispute. Croydon Crown Court had police wanted to speak to O'Connor in relation to the murder investigation of teenager Lawan Griffiths who was stabbed to death in July of 2018. Prosecutors say the pair are both members of the Harlem Spartans, a hip-hop collective based in Kennington, South London. Yeah, my fault. Not sell drugs, but to hold on to a firearm. That's what he was pretty much trying to tell them that he was forced to do, but we're going to see if they believe it or not. And a gang which is, quote, at war with gangs in the nearby Brixton area, the 410 and the Angel Town Gang, which would be 150 or GBG for anyone wondering. Officers were deployed to carry out an observation at his address on April 9th, 2019 and saw him getting into an Uber. 
The court heard that when the Uber was stopped, it was discovered that O'Connor had a revolver concealed in a sock underneath the seat. Given directions to the jury on Wednesday, Judge Elizabeth Smolder said they would have to decide whether they believed Lowski's claim that he was in possession of the gun under duress, and she also said that they would have to find Lowski and his mother were at an immediate or almost immediate risk of serious injury or death, and that it was not reasonable for him to take any other course of action. The report continues, it was said on the day before he was arrested, Lowski was at home and had phoned several friends and had a friend over, and Judge Smaller would go on to say the prosecution say that Jarell O'Connor is not under duress at this time at all, that he is going about his life and that life would include willingly taking a loaded firearm out the next day. But if he had been threatened, the Crown say he had ample opportunity to take a different course. The judge reminded jurors that Lowski gave evidence that he did not tell police about the incident because of quote repercussions and that quote he had been warned not to. All this we pretty much knew anyway which I have reported on in the past, apart from a few things such as he'd been with friends the day before, but I thought I'd give you guys this information who might not be familiar with this situation. We do now have brand new information about this case that's came out today though, and yesterday Ricky Blue who runs Since 93 Records, which I do believe is a part of Sony Music Group, gave evidence in court and it's believed that he had signed Lowski back in late 2018. Ricky was asked if he knew there were four-fingered gang signs in the video for Lowski's song Money and Beef. The prosecution asked, the first music video that you made with Mr. O'Connor was Money and Beef. Did you know when you got to make it that the four-finger sign in this video related to the 410 gang? He said no. He was also questioned as to whether he knew or advised Lowski to stay away from certain people if he wanted to have a successful music career. Ricky would go on to say, and that's the thing, man. When you when you were a rapper coming from the streets and stuff, and you sign your deal with whatever record label and stuff like that, I we all seen that the record labels do try to tell their artists to stay away from certain people if they can because they don't want to have their career held back or have anything that's gonna hurt their career in the long run or pretty much yeah hurting their career in the long run and stuff getting them into trouble and possibly doing jail time prison time whatever the case is pretty much they're trying to get artists to stay out of trouble even though they know why exactly that artist got supporters in the first place because he's coming from the streets rapping about the real street life shit that other people don't really know about or never been involved in or could relate to etc etc because you got people that relate to what the rappers are going through in the streets but then you got people that ain't related to it at all pretty much the people that's coming from the suburbs and stuff that's living in good neighborhoods and shit like that y'all know what i'm talking about but anyway back to get this so we hurry up finish the video but um they do try the record labels do try to get their artists to realize like certain people they possibly can't be around but at the end of the day they want them to do that but it's gonna be hard just because those same people they telling them to stay away from probably some people that's they grew up with went through everything with life or death situations all type of crazy things and survived together and all type of things looked out for each other and on top of that possibly did some things that really could have kept that person out of trouble the artist that pretty much the artist got kept out of trouble and stuff like that so it's it's so many different factors into why it's hard for artists to stay away from certain people that they hang around on daily before they even sign a deal and shit like that because they done been through so much real shit so it's hard for them to kind of just say you know what i gotta cut you off bro because Hey, I, I signed this record deal and the record label. They don't want me messing with you or whoever no more just because y'all might get me into trouble and possibly go to jail or end up dead somewhere and shit. So, hey, I got to cut y'all loose because now that's going to possibly cause another situation. Now people going to look at you funny because now you supposed to be a real person, but yet you're cutting off the people that helped you pretty much survive in the streets life and shit like that. So it's kind of hard for them to just go ahead and do that. So we're going to see... Like, um, pretty much if the court going to believe everything that he's trying to tell them in his defense and shit like that. But back to that as well, it's hard. Like I said, to just cut people off that you grew up with, probably went through a lot of real shit with. At the end of the day, you can get security, but at the same time, so you're having security, professional security at that, you're going to be paying the bag. Simple. So 
if you don't got a, a lot of large sum of money where you can just pay to live your lifestyle as far as also um paying to have security it's gonna hurt your pockets it's really gonna hurt your pockets so unless you got a big bag and a lot of money to, that you got access to it's kind of gonna be hard to just have professional security 24 7 every day of the year it's gonna be hard simple so you definitely gotta have a lot of money and we're gonna see man but yeah man that's kind of hard for people to just cut off people that they came up from the streets with and shit like that but at the end of the day that's just life man simple as that it's just up to the person to make that decision on do they want to cut that person off or do they want to keep them around no matter what hey if i was aware of these individuals I would encourage him not to hang around with them. In this period, his career is starting to take in places he'd never seen before. The detachment from his area friends, etc., was becoming wider and wider in terms of lifestyle and how much he was working. Ricky was asked if Lowski's mother had requested him to steer away from crime. He was <coughs> going to say that Lowski was kept very busy after being signed to the label, adding, in my humble opinion, he wouldn't have had the time to suggest he was some kind of crime boss like the prosecution was suggesting. Going on to say, I can't understand where he would have had the time amongst the several day jobs commitments. My role isn't to steer him away from crime, that's not what I do for a living. The question is suggesting I knew he was doing crime and I don't. But like I said at the start of the video, and I guess like you've seen throughout this report, it is now time for jurors to deliberate in this case. If we do take a look at the law pages, we can see that today both the prosecution and the defence gave their closing speeches, which only means one thing, we're either a day or two away from where the deliberations have started. Mm. I doubt very much that a verdict will come out tomorrow, so that means if I'm 100% with you guys, we're going to get a verdict more than likely on Monday, but I'm guessing more it will be Tuesday than Monday. But of course, when I do get an update out of this situation, and of course, when those new reports come out, we're going to get a bunch of new information surrounding this case. So when that does come out, of course, I am going to keep you guys posted on this one. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this, Dan. Yeah, man, low key, it ain't kind of sounding too good, man. We just going to have to wait and see, but... For the looks of it, man, it's all going to come down to if they really believe his word, which is going to be hard because, like I said, few people have already, we have heard and seen, use that excuse that they were forced to do something against their will because their life is in danger and they were possibly told not to tell law enforcement or else there would be repercussions. So they probably already know that pretty much he might be very well lying for sure. It is what it is. Um, everybody, nobody is stupid, really. Like, we can tell, like, he's really been from the streets and shit like that. But at the end of the day, still, he's still trying at least to try to finesse that situation. But I don't think it's going to work out like that. But hopefully it does. But we're going to see, man. Because like he said, Monday or Tuesday is the day we find out what's really going to happen to him and stuff. And if... He gonna do a lot of time or whatever the case is because it look like they either way gonna try to get him to do some time regardless i feel like but um we gonna see man other than that we y'all comment down below how y'all feel this situation gonna play out and stuff like that what y'all feel like is gonna happen and yeah man other than that that's the end of this video i ain't gonna drag it on the video because it's other shit we can talk about but that's not why we here we just here for that that little bit of evidence that just came out but other than that that's the end of the video make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe if you're brand new forget to tell your family and friends about the channel as well hopefully they become supporters and hopefully this video you recommend to a large audience of people as well and also make sure you guys turn on post notifications and if the notifications don't work just make sure throughout the day or before y'all go to bed just check our channel because we always upload every single day it's very rare that we don't and also make sure you guys follow my IG at LMR. All of that information is in the description box down below. With all that being said, that's the end of this video. And I'm going to catch y'all later on with more videos.